Welcome to UBC Library Tutorials Data Analysis a Student T-Test. We would use a student T-Test if from the two variables that we are confronting, one is continuous variable and the other one is categorical variable. And in this situation, our categorical variable should have only two levels. If it has more than two levels, then we will resource to ANOVA. Now let's look at an exercise. The question here is, is there any significant difference between mean of age among married versus unmarried subjects? So I have a continuous variable unit year and a categorical variable with two levels only, no and yes, or marital status which is coded as 0 and 1. Going back to demo sav database, I will go to Analyze, Compare Mean, Independent Sample T-Test. I will select Research because I want to clear the picture for my new assignment. I'll choose Age, push it to Test Variable, and Marital Status, push it to Grouping Variable. As soon as I do that, you'll see that there are some question marks. I have to click on Define Groups and tell SPSS what are the codes that I have for this variable, 0 and 1. Click Continue and OK. Now you'll get two tables, one with the descriptive of age in years within the unmarried and married subjects. I have 3,224 unmarried subjects and their mean of age is 42.02 with a standard deviation of 12.326. And the mean and standard deviation for the married group is also 3176 samples uh, with these numbers. Now, below table you see another table that has the Levin's test for equality of variance. If this value is not significant, you can proceed and read the result of this test. And you can look at this significant level here and see that there is no difference between the mean value of age within unmarried and married groups. You could actually say that by just looking at the mean, but now you have tested it. Your t-value and degree of freedom is also here which you can report. For more information please contact researchcommons at ubc.ca or use these links. Thank you.